Hi, scholars. Recently, I had the pleasure of being driven to lunch by a friend. Playing on the radio was an NPR podcast. A guest, an expert in water purification, was discussing the dangers of very potent pharmaceutical drugs present in our drinking waters at parts per trillion levels. This guest on NPR, the finest source of unbiased, never alarmist news, said, we all on drugs. No, not those drugs. The primary cause of concern to these experienced scientists was hormones, birth control pills. Now, stalwart researchers over at bodybuilding.com know that without a doubt, exogenous hormones are bad. But before you buy another month's supply of your bitch tits control supplement, let's reconsider what this very motivated man said. Low parts per trillion levels. How much is that? Progesterone analogs are the most commonly prescribed form of birth control pills, typically at about 10 milligrams per dose. While any chemist's home homeopaths or drug dealers might understand the difficulty of weighing 10 milligrams of a powder, most people don't have much experience in this realm. Weighing that out isn't going to be easy. And how many molecules is 10 milligrams of progesterone anyway? Turns out, a lot. In fact, scientists, the government tax dollar swindling people that they are, got so tired of writing out these long numbers that they invented a new unit for it, the mole. A mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Molar calculations are a basic and fundamental part of chemistry. Knowing the molar mass of progesterone and the concentration in drinking water, we can actually calculate the number of liters of water you'd have to drink to get an active dose. How much is it? About 157,000 gallons per day. But some unconvinced might ask, what are the effects of drinking small amounts of progesterone over time? Well, I'm glad you did, because humans have been carrying out this experiment since the age of herding. Dairy, on average, contains about 175 to 300 parts per billion molecules of progesterone per serving. That's a thousand times higher than the dosages being discussed right now in the water supply. A pint of ice cream thus contains about 0.5% of an active dose, whereas a liter of water contains 0.00001%. So, stay thirsty, my friends, but maybe cut back on the gelato.